Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try to go out and go to some big box stores and check out the plant section there. And I'm gonna try to record it, at least record it and put a voiceover over it. We'll see what happens. Filming in public is very, very weird for me, but we're gonna try it and hopefully we find some cool stuff. And then I'll sit down with you guys at the end and maybe do a little plant haul if I found some cool stuff. I think we're gonna go to Lowe's, Walmart, and then our Meyer has some plants there that I can probably show you. So we're just gonna do that and see if we find anything cool. A lot of the time, especially lately, it's been a while since I've been to Lowe's, but Walmart has like the worst plant section literally ever. All of their plants are awful. They look half dead and they're full of fungus gnats. So hopefully they stepped up their game a little bit because we don't go to Walmart that much anymore, but I already needed to go to Walmart and Meijer. So we'll check it out while we're there. Not really the ideal place to go, but who knows? Maybe they have some cool stuff. And I look horrible today. Hi, Jammy. But I don't care because I'm just filming a quick video and spending the night inside. So it's fine. We're fine. And I will probably see you guys when I'm at Lowe's. Okay, we are at Lowe's and I think it's a good sign because I see a lady right now walking out with a big palm of some sort. So, and it looks nice. So maybe they got new plants in, but let's go see. Sorry if I'm awkward in there. Sorry if I don't talk in there. If that's the case, I'll do a voiceover, but. <laughs> All right, up here, we've got some bromeliads, fiddly fig. Ooh, what is that? Up here we have some dumb cane, shiflera, looks like some dragon trees, palms, what have ya. Prayer plants. Snake plant, calathea, fiddly fig, patho. They actually have a lot of nice plants right now. So here it looks like we've got a banana plant, some fiddly fig, some snake plants, mother-in-law tongue variety, and then some dragon trees up here. I don't know what this is, but these are clearance. It's a begonia of some sort. These are really pretty, and I've said I don't like them before, but these are actually really pretty. And there's a bunch of pothos up here. Some palms, fiddly fig, zizis, varieties of snake plants, anthuriums, no, bromeliads. Here we've got some raindrop peperomia, money trees. Pothos, Monstera adinsoniae hanging up there, pothos, snake plants, some ferns and variety of plants. Here's an adinsoniae. It doesn't exactly look the best, but I might get it because I really want one. <laughs> so I've never seen one of these before, but this is an alocasia variety. All right, guys, it's getting a little dark out now, but that was not too bad. Um, there's a couple really nice ladies in there actually, and I talked to them for a little bit, but I'm probably not going to get a ton today because um, I have a gift card to a specific plant shop that I'm probably going to take you guys. So I mean, I'm going to be getting a ton of plants anyways. Um, but yeah, if I get a couple things, I'll do a little haul at the end, but Lowe's plant section was actually pretty good today. So that's a score in my eyes. and. 
I'm gonna head over to Walmart, so I'll see you guys there. Got some coffees. They need a drink desperately. Fiddlies. Vanillas. Snake plants. These ones are cute. I don't know much about succulents, but those are cute. So if anyone knows what that is, let me know. Aloe vera. I don't know how you guys feel about these, but <laughs> I can never keep them alive. And the good thing about Walmart is that they never know that these just need water, so I'm sure they'll be on clearance because they're not dead. So, as I'm sure all of you could tell, Walmart was disappointing. It usually always is. If you have a good Walmart in your area, please let me know because I feel like Walmart never has a good selection. But maybe that's just where I live. Um, so now I'm going to head to Meyer. I feel like Meyer is going to be the most difficult to film at because it's always busy and the plant section is right in the open. Usually it's in the back. We'll see how that goes. Um, but Meyer usually has pretty good plants. Right now I think they have a majority of like Valentine's Day things and like Easter stuff even. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of grocery shopping there too. So yeah, I'll see you at Meijer. Hey guys, it is the next day and I look crazy because I just got done with a work in service where we have to get in the water so I have chlorinified hair right now but I did get a couple plants yesterday so I'll just show you those real quick. Uh, I didn't get a ton because like I said before I have a gift card to a fancier actual greenhouse so i'll probably be going there soon and i will be showing you guys that but i figured this video would be a good warm-up to kind of like getting used to filming in public because <laughs> it was weird but it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be and i hope the content was somewhat entertaining so i got this little polka dot plant they were cheap <laughs> and they remind me of Fatonia, so I'm imagining that they're kind of similar in the sense that you take care of them pretty much the same way. But we're gonna experiment with this and see how it goes because they're, they seem easy, they seem simple, and they're cute, and I love pink, so yeah. <laughs> I got an African Violet. I already have two of these, but I don't have this pretty lavender color. I have a pink one and I have a dark purple one. And I don't know, the little flowers on these are just super pretty. And I usually don't really like house plants that have flowers, but I do like these ones. And you can see that they have new little babies growing over here. But yeah, I like African violets. They seem to be pretty resilient. I neglect mine all the time and they do great, <laughs> so. I recommend, honestly. They look great, they're cute, and they'll put up with you. And lastly, I did actually end up getting the Monstera Adansonii. It does look kind of whack, but honestly, I've been wanting one of these for such a long time that I'm willing to put in the work to like get it back on its toes, I guess, like looking good again. 
It doesn't look awful. It just needs some TLC, I guess. Um, I'm going to isolate it from my other plants just to make sure it doesn't got anything funky going on with it because it does look like it has some leaf damage. Uh, so hopefully there's nothing crazy going on in here. But yeah, I've wanted one of these for a long time and this was the best looking one. So I went ahead and picked it up. Just looking at it, like it doesn't look great, but it looks, it looks like it has like crazy leaf damage and I can't tell what it is from. I think I'm just gonna put it in my tub and spray it with some neem oil and see if that does anything to help it and keep it isolated for a little bit. But hopefully I can get this guy looking somewhat decent again. Uh, I usually don't really buy plants in the wintertime because they're a lot harder to keep alive in the wintertime. I have lost quite a few throughout my years in the wintertime because they're significantly harder. It's a lot easier to overwater them. Um, so far I haven't had any bad luck, but they do tend to just look not the best during the winter because it's just not their peak time to really be thriving but i don't know if you guys have any that are kind of like looking a little bit on the decline maybe just like keep close attention to them and give them some extra care maybe they'll stick through i mean the winter season isn't gonna last too much longer hopefully so yeah that was all of the plants that I bought. Again, I will be going plant shopping again soon. If you guys want to know more about what I'm doing, you can follow me on my Facebook page at Haley and Bloom. You can follow me on Instagram at Haley and Bloom, and you can follow me on TikTok at Haley and Bloom. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like me, you like this type of video, anything, you wanna give me some feedback, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. So I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.